<laughs> Hi there, chickadees. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we are Two Real Chicks. And today we are bringing you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Beauty tools that can make your life easier and then some that can make it miserable as well. So we've picked out our favorite beauty tools like sponges and brushes and things like that and then a few duds that we suggest you avoid because they just didn't work for us. We tried. We really wanted it to work. We spent money on it. What you got, Miss Cindy? Well, let me put my glasses on. This is a Sigma eyeliner brush. Sigma Flat Definer E15. And it gives you a perfect little line when you're doing your eyeliner, especially with the cake eyeliner. It's flat, it's sturdy, it's perfect, you know, it gets it nice and wet and you just go in and lay it down as you go. Love it. I found this from another YouTuber. She was teaching me how to do eyeliner. She did a nice little tutorial. And, yep, I had to run out and get it. One time I thought I lost this. I was devastated. I was devastated. I was blaming my daughter. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was blaming her. What are you doing in my stuff? She is a little um, nine-year-old going on 21. Scary. Diva in the making. Yes, she is. I love this brush. I cannot tell you how much I love this brush. It's a little pricey, but I've had this for three years. Highly recommend you go out and get this little baby. This is a double-ended spoolie from Crown Brush Company. Crown Brush is one of the most underrated beauty companies out there. I have to agree. Occasionally you will hear someone talk about them, but I actually discovered them before I heard the first beauty guru mention them at all. Their products are extremely high quality and they work really well. And I'm going to be honest with you, for years I thought a spoolie was pointless. I can understand that. It just seemed like an unnecessary thing and I didn't see why people were using it. And at that time when I thought that, not everybody was doing their brows anyway. This is an excellent spoolie. Look how firmly placed on there it is. That's not going anywhere. Which with a lot of spoolies, you'll find them to be very bendy. Mm -hmm. They break. This is a solid, sturdy one. So I like the fact that you've got this brush on the end that you can use to do your eyebrows or even a little bit of liner. And then the spoolie goes very nicely through your eyebrows or on your lashes if you want to separate them. Crown Brush Company, double-ended spoolie, highly recommend. This is a win. This little goodie. Ooh, what is that? It's your brush cleaner on the go. Ooh. You know, as you're sitting there and you're doing your different colors, you can just wipe it on here and the, the powder or the shadow or whatever you're using comes off and now your brush is clean. Oh, how cool is that? I love it. And it was very low priced. Amazon Prime. Perfect. What you got there now? Well, you wouldn't think that something as basic as bobby pins could possibly be a dud, now would you? No. Bobby well, pins. these are. Why are they duds? They're curved. Can you see they've got a curve to them? Which seemed like a great idea because it seemed like that would fit nicely against your head. Yeah. The only thing that these might even be remotely good for is holding back your bangs. These simply don't hold, at least not in my hair. I have fine thin hair that may make a difference. I put up a bun. I try to stick these into the bun. One of the things that it says on the package is that they're easy glide baloney. It's like sticking a pitchfork in your head. Wow. They go into your head. If you do manage to get them in your hair, like in your bun, they don't hold it. They fall out. They get misplaced. They slide around. So bobby pins, yes, they manage to foul these up, if you can believe that. That's hilarious. I mean, who in the world could foul up a bobby pin? This company did. Do not buy the curved bobby pins, at least not if you have fine, thin hair. They get lost in my hair. I'll be brushing my hair, and you'll have boom, it. here comes a bobby pin. Wow. That I don't even realize is in there because it's gotten displaced and moved around. Yeah. Ridiculous. I won't be buying any. Oh, is she going to try to do something to me? All right, watch. Ow. See? I told you. Ow. That sucker hurt. It does hurt. It even says something about the comfort tips, too. They lied to you, honey. They lied. Let's talk about having poor eyesight and trying to do your eyeliners. I thought these would be great. They I, look cool. They are awesome. You know, and they come in different strengths. You can do one eye 
and then flip it over and do the other eye. So you can see out of one eye what you're doing on the other eye. Exactly. There's a problem with this. Uh-oh. As I'm sitting here trying to get my brush in, oh, we have a problem. I've been trying to figure out how they could have changed it. I need it for eyeliner. I can't get to my eyes. Yeah, you've got the frame right there and the frame down here because you can't get down on the bottom either, down on the lower lash line. I would call these a dud if you are really needing them to see close up and to do your eyeliner and stuff. They're cool for shadow maybe, but still these, they get in the way. And this is not the first pair. I had another pair that was a little different. This is the favorite pair of the two. Oh, wow. They have other styles and other pairs. They're pretty. They are pretty. I like them because they're purple. Purpley. I don't even know what I did with the other pair. I think I threw it away. Oh, wow. The arm. Oh, I think the other pair flipped down. Ah. Instead of flipping over, they just flipped down. And still, same problem. I couldn't get to my eyes. Seems like mascara would be a problem with that, oh, too, no for doubt. the same reason. No doubt. Yeah. I would not recommend these. I'm sorry. I really hoped they would work, which is why I bought two different pair. You know, the first pair didn't work for me. Certainly, these would work. No. It's sad. Good idea, bad execution. Yeah, it hurt me bad. Did it hurt your feelings? It did. I was so excited because I just had cataract surgery and I went from nearsighted to farsighted. Oh my God. I used to could see up close. Now I can't see hardly at all. But we're not getting older. No. 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 It was a anomaly. Yeah, we'll go with that word. Yeah, good word. Anomaly. Yeah. Word for the day. Anomaly. anomaly. What you got now? I know what those are. Good brushes are really important in makeup. They truly do make a difference in how your makeup and your skincare goes on. A good quality brush makes a huge difference. So I have some of my favorites here and honestly, they're not expensive. Prime example of that are these fabulous studio brushes from e.l.f. with the black handle. Now make sure you either go for the black handle or the clear handle. The white handle ones are not bad. They're not bad at all. I just prefer the black handle studio line. This particular one is the highlighting brush and man, it really, see how it just creates that perfect oh, yeah. little line right there. This is a beautiful brush. This brush is not only great for highlighting, but it's great for crevices too. Like if you want to get in here with your oh, concealer yeah. or around your nose, around your chin, multi uses for this brush. Oh yeah. There you go. It's so pretty. It feels so soft. They are soft. These are typically three to six dollars a piece. The most expensive one they have is the Ultimate Kabuki Brush, and that one is ten dollars, which I have that one as well. I have yet to run across an e.l.f. brush that I don't like. e.l.f. brushes are terrific quality, and they're a terrific bargain too, so definitely check those out. Another one of my favorite lines of brushes is Eco Tools. I do love them. I do love them. Eco Tools are easy to use. They're quality. Absolutely a great find, Eco Tools. You can't go wrong. My other favorite brand of brushes is Bare Minerals. No. Bare Minerals makes fabulous brushes. This particular one I love for making that outer V. Oh. Because it just fits perfectly right in there and the angle really helps with the curve of your eye. But I've never come across a single Bare Minerals brush that I didn't like. So Bare Minerals, Elf, and Eco Tools, you cannot go wrong with these brushes. I have a 10x mirror. Ooh. So you see everything. The good, the, the bad, bad, and the, the ugly. ugly. What I like about this is it's, it, it lights up. Oh. I love this mirror. I carry this everywhere. It sticks. <laughs> it's got major suction on the bottom. You can stick it to your mirror, uh, your bathroom mirror. Don't stick it on a painted wall, it will fall. When you're traveling, if you loosen one of these batteries, that's loose. I think I got your attention. If you throw one of the batteries, <laughs> don't make me take that away from you. If you loosen one of the batteries, of course it won't cut on and then you're not wasting precious battery time. And then just pop it back in when you're ready to use it. I highly recommend this little goodie. 
I love this mirror. I take it anywhere I go. Oh, wrinkles. Let me see. Oh, get that thing away from me. But it helps you see without having to wear these. Yeah, but it helps me see things I don't want to see. Girl, you're just looking at it 10x. That thing scares me. I'm scared. I'm scared. I get scared too. I'm scared. This is the Real Technique sponge. The reason I'm choosing this one as a definite win is we all know a beauty blender works, right? These come in a pack for what? Two for five dollars, two for six, something very inexpensive. Mm -hmm. And these work really, really well. I also like the Real Technique sponge because it has two sides. You've got your pointy side so you can get in there with your concealer around your nose with your crevices but I like the flat side too because I can really get in around my chin on my cheeks. I like that it has the two sides. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice thickness to it, a nice bounce to it. Get it nice and wet and you've got a perfect combination for making your makeup go on smoothly. Really like this sponge. I do love mine too. I use it often. As you can see, it's <coughs> been well used. Here is waterless brush cleaner. I love to keep my brushes clean. Sorry. Not sorry. I picked this up at Ulta. You just spray it on. Spray it on. You just spray it on and rub it into a Ooh, it paper towel. Good. Yes, it does. It's got a beautiful scent to it. it smells good. Oh, that did come off. Wow. Look at that. And that was a clean brush, or what I thought was a clean brush. Nice product. I do love it. I use this a lot. What too. is it again? It's called, I cannot pronounce it, Jap Japanesque. Japanesque. Waterless Brush Cleanser. Rapid Dry Formula. It's almost like dry shampoo for your hair cool idea i love it i love it i'm gonna do one more goodie and then i'm gonna do an ugly this is an odd looking little thing isn't it you've yeah. got these like little tweezer things on this end and this little flat side on this end this came in a kit of ardell false eyelashes and it's a false eyelash applicator and it works terrific i can't use tweezers to put on my false eyelashes I, it's something about the metal near my eye i'm afraid i'm going to gouge my eye out I'm not the best at putting on false lashes as it is. This really does help a lot. You've got this little area here for you to squeeze. So it's ergonomic. It's got that built in right there with the little pads for your fingers to go in. Squeeze the lash. Place it on your eye. I do like these because they allow you to maneuver and wiggle. The best part, I think, is you take the flat side and you use it to, to push, push it in. in place. So you're not using your fingers to push it in and your fingers aren't getting glued to your eyeball. And because it's rubber, it kind of resists the glue. Yeah. I'm rubber, you're glue. Nanner, nanner. And it really does allow for a great application, even if you're a novice at it or not the best like I am. If I'm gonna use false eyelashes, this is a tool I have to have. Like I said, I got it in a kit from Ardell. I'm pretty sure you can buy it separately. I hope so, because I'm gonna be looking for that little puppy. I love this guy. Oh, it's so cool. Let's face it, applying false eyelashes is stressful enough as it is. The last thing you need is a stressful tool. Ooh. I need this. Oh, yeah, I need that. It's nice and smooth so it doesn't hurt on your eyelids. This is a great little tool. It's a couple of bucks. You got something else? I have an ugly. We told you this is the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is bad and ugly at the same time. We recently did a video on crappy, horrible products that we hate. We'll link that up above and down below so that you can watch it. This was in that, but I got to mention it in this too. As far as beauty tools, this is also supposed to be an eyelash applicator. This looks like a great idea, but here's the problem. It's curved, but your eyes are curved, but they're not necessarily curved the same way this is curved. So basically you put your strip lash in here. And then the idea is that you take it and place it on your eyelid, let go, and boom, you have a perfect eyelash application. Not so much. The way this is curved does not match the curvature of my eye. Does it match the curvature of your eye? Not too great. That's the problem. When you let go, it ends up flying straight and popping off your eyeball altogether. So you've got a hot mess with this thing. If you've used one and it, luckily for you, it matches the curve of your eye, hey, 
awesome. Good on you, because I'm sure it works beautifully if you have the same shape eye that this does. If you don't, you're going to have flying eyelashes everywhere, and nobody wants nobody that. Nobody wants that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Nope. Nope, nope. So this is one overall I suggest you avoid. And those are just a few of our favorite beauty tools and a few of the duds we've come across as well. What are your favorites that you can't live without? Tell us in the comments section below. We would love to hear about it. We love reading your comments and we, we do. do read each and every one. Your kindness and your support means so very much to us. And we also try to answer everyone that we can as well. We appreciate the time that you spend with us. It makes our day so much more special when you keep us company. Please click that subscribe button so that, and there's a little bell right beside it that you can click and you will get notified when we do upload a new video. We upload new videos every week, usually twice a week. We would love to have you subscribe to us and be part of the little chickadee family that we got going on here. The other day, someone left a comment that they felt like they had two new friends in us and oh, that just means the world to us. And we want you to feel safe and comfortable here and have fun while maybe learning a few things along the way. Until next time, I'm Cindy. I'm Carla, and we're the two real chicks that are keeping it real. Bye. Bye. We love you. And we're just keeping it real here, babe. Your makeup just glows, and, and not in the you know bad way, not in the nuclear, like nuclear way. waste way. We did say it was the good, the bad, and the ugly, didn't we? Tell us in the comments section. <laughs>